Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day and thank you and welcome back to the Valder Beebe Show. I'm on a roll because it's the weekend, so I got to get my schedule cleared up so I can get out of here for the weekend. I've got Dr. Laurel Garrity. She's here to talk about skin and she said it's a, a sensitive subject for us to broach. Dr. Garrity, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. It says that 70% of Americans have sensitive skin. You know, uh, how do we know if we have it? Everybody thinks they have, you know, delicate, sensitive skin. Yes, you're so right. 70% of Americans self-diagnose as having sensitive skin. And I'm so excited to be working with Cetaphil, the leader in sensitive skin and the number one dermatologist recommended facial skincare brand, to dedicate the week of March 22nd through March 28th to sensitive skin education. All week, sensitive skin experts like myself will be helping to educate people on how they can best care for their sensitive skin and recognize the signs of skin sensitivity. So I see so many patients that come to me with dryness, irritation, roughness, tightness, or a weakened skin barrier. And these are five signs of skin sensitivity that you can be on the lookout for to decipher if you may have sensitive skin. Let me ask you, does skin become sensitive as we age, I know there are people younger, but does it, you know, you have it for 60, 70, 80 years. So does the age make it sensitive a lot of times? Well, you're right. I mean, age can, we, our, our skin definitely loses some of its natural hydration as we go through life. But we think that there are three main factors. The first is our genetics. So we may inherit skin, skin issues from our family. You know, skin sensitivity is something that can get passed down through our genes. The second big factor is our environment, dry weather, polluted air, wind, and cold. They can all contribute to our skin sensitivity. And importantly, the wrong skincare products can worsen our skin. If we're using poor quality or expired products, harsh ingredients and cleansers, those can exacerbate our skin conditions and actually the wor worsen the quality of our skin. If you think you have a skin sensitivity issue, Rather than just going to the to the uh, <laughs> the corner drugstore and buying products, should you see a dermatologist first? Because yeah. every product in uh, I use Cetaphil. Is that what we're talking about? That's right. I use that. It's perfect, but it was recommended by a dermatologist for me. Yeah. Well, the best thing you can do to help sensitive skin besides seeing your dermatologist is to use the right gently formulated products that are specifically designed for sensitive skin, like Cetaphil products, which are also free of irritating ingredients. And that can help bring the skin back to a healthier state. So if you've got healthier skin, or if you've got sensitive skin, I recommend scaling back your routine, sticking to a gentle cleanser, moisturizer, and sunscreen, and avoiding products with strong active ingredients or harsh exfoliants. And Cetaphil, fortunately, has a wide range of products that cater to various skin types, but they're also formulated specifically for sensitive skin, and they defend against five signs of skin sensitivity. And the best part is they're so accessible. As you mentioned, you can find them at the corner drugstore. The Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser is one of my most recommended products for sensitive skin. This creamy, non-foaming cleanser gently cleanses while helping to preserve the skin's moisture barrier. And it's been around for more than 70 years, so it's really stood the test of time. And I like to pair those gentle cleansers with a Cetaphil rich hydrating cream because it's rich and it's luxurious, but it's fast absorbing and it contains hyaluronic acid so it rehydrates and soothes the skin and protects from dryness for 24 hours. And regardless of the season, we should all be applying a sunscreen daily. Cetaphil's got a new line of 100% mineral active sunscreens that are designed specifically for sensitive skin. The Sheer Mineral Sunscreen Collection consists of four products and comes in three different formats and they all provide broad spectrum protection and are formulated with antioxidant vitamin E to help protect the skin from surface free radicals and other environmental stressors for extra protection. And for the next neck down, the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion is a fast absorbing lightweight option that contains avocado oil along with a blend of six moisturizers and vitamins E and B5 to provide instant hydration for 24 hours. For those of us who are on the dry side, we may need a thicker option like Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream an intense, moisture-rich formula that contains sweet almond oil and binds water to the skin to prevent moisture loss. It nourishes skin in just one day and completely restores the skin barrier within a week. So if you have a damaged barrier, this is for you. And another great option finally is the Advanced Release Relief Lotion. This nourishing formula with shea butter is an advanced solution to relieve persistently dry skin for 48 hours. And that's a great choice for mature skin like you were saying earlier. Using these products on an ongoing basis, 
when should just, and I know it's, it'll vary per individual, but when should you see a change in your skin? You know, with some products, you should see almost instant relief of dryness, instant plumpness, instant soothing. Sometimes if we have very dry skin, it may take consistent use for about a week. Um, but it is nice if you start with good, truly hydrating products, we can get that instant grat, but continued benefits the longer we use them. And some of the other things that can really help if we have dry skin are tips that dermatologists recommend are to avoid using very hot or very cold water while you're showering or washing your face. It's good to use a gentle hydrating cleanser twice a day, even in the shower. And rather than rubbing your skin when it's dry, it's good to just pat your skin dry gently to avoid adding extra irritation. And it can also help to apply face and body moisturizer to damp skin rather than dry skin to help with moisture retention. And a lot of us love to use a satin pillowcase, which is gentle on skin, and change that in your sheets at least once per week to remove bacteria, germs, residue, and more. I want my audience to know that Dr. Laura Garrity, she was awarded the number one dermatologist in Southern Oregon last year. And I want to thank her for coming on to help people like me with uh, sensitive skin. And I know those of you guys listening because I see you out there on Facebook. But I'm going to give you a place to go and find some more information. Dr. Garrity, where would you send them online to find some more information? Because people are saying they didn't know about this product. Uh, uh, they would like to get it. And we know it's available over the counter. Right. So visit Cetaphil.com and follow Cetaphil US on Instagram for more tips and advice. And you can find all these great products and more at drugstores nationwide and online. Dr. Garrity, have a really nice weekend, and thank you for coming on the Valder BB Show. This is very informative. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.